Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Archihack. Today, we have another very exciting AI video. We're gonna be reviewing this new tool called Prom AI. It's an image-based AI generative tool that allows you to take your image and turn them into beautiful artworks. The application for architecture is limitless. So let's take a look at exactly how you can integrate this into your workflow. The link to this website will be in the description so you can check them out at your own pace. So the first feature you will see is sketch to render. This feature allows you to take a very rough black and white image and turn it into a photorealistic image. As you can see on the screen right over here, everything turns into beautiful images. Another very interesting tool is taking photo and turning it into sketch. Another one is called erase and replace. And this is sort of similar to the content aware replacement tool in Photoshop. You may have seen that in recent days as well. Image variation is also very cool for creating different variations of your design. An AI supermodel more or less is like a product placement thing where you can take product and put them on supermodels. It's not very relevant for architectural applications, so we'll skip that for now. And so is background diffusion. Now, outpainting is pretty interesting. It can take a small section of a photo or rendering and give it more context. Now, what's really cool about Prom AI is that it's completely free to start and it's free forever. There are some premium features you can get if you want to, but there's really no harm in trying it out just for free. Now, let's try giving it a test run. So the first thing you'll see is that it allows you to submit an image. And for example, let's start with a floor plan like this one. By this point, you may have figured out sort of the layout and the furniture placement but you don't exactly know what texture and what kind of material you're gonna use. Prom AI will take that image and give it a texture, color, lighting effects to all the generated images. And it'll give you three different variations every single time. What makes Prom AI more powerful than other AI tools is that it's designed specifically for architectural application. So as you can see in this category, there are many different kinds of categories to choose from, but there's architecture tab and there's so many different styles to choose from. Let's choose a Nordic functionalism for our purpose. And there are four more options to choose your render mode. Now on the left is more accurate and to the right is a little bit less accurate, but more creative. I would use the outline version when you want to get out of your creative block. But for now, let's choose space because it's specifically designed for working with a rendering or a screenshot. Let's see what happens when we hit generate. Now, what's really cool is that it took a plan drawing, but it created a sectional image depending on its interpretation of it. The reason why it did that is because we didn't choose the floor plan category within the interior design. As you can see, these models are very fine tuned for the specific purpose so it can generate incredible results when you have the right configuration. Let's try choosing a outline version of the floor plan. Now we'll get a very amazing image this time around. Outline, as mentioned before, will preserve a bit of detail, give you more creative results. As you can see, now the design from this is significantly different from the ones that we have seen before. The version without any category had this warm tone to it, to make things more interesting, there is a text prompt that you can add to each rendering. As you can see, these options actually affect the final results. These images that we get on the second try is very different from the plan industrial and the results that will also differ depending on the kinds of render mode that you select. Now let's see what happens when you apply this to a perspective. So you can simply drag and drop an image into Prom AI and then you can choose the style that you want. Now I'll choose space again and hit generate. As you can see, we get a pretty nice image already now I was able to capture these parallel walls that are stretching across the whole site and that slowly dip into the much lower terrain. It's able to capture the trees, they're very well represented. To help out the AI, let's add some more prompt and as you can see, you get a significantly different results. What's also interesting is that depending on the kinds of screenshots that you submit, you get a very different render results. Even if you're using the same perspective and the same 3D model, this type of screenshot that you submit will give you a different atmosphere. When you want to fix small details about specific image, there is the option to choose erase and replace. It allows you to select parts of the image that you want to remove and then paint them away and tell the AI exactly what you want to put in there. So in this case, we want to erase the field in the background and turn it into a ocean. 
Now the tool was able to create exactly what I was looking for. And what's really amazing is that it almost feels like you have a personal render helper right next to you. And it's able to generate everything within a couple seconds. And it works so much faster than any normal human could do. So yeah, the results are photorealistic. We tried using the image variation to turn the ocean into lake. And I think this is actually really close to exactly what I had in mind. Now that I have the result, want it in the beginning, I'm gonna click download. Of course, you can also get the full download if you subscribe to premium version, but you can also get the small one and then find different ways to upscale it too. What's really cool about this tool for me is that it allows me to get out of my creative blocks. So what do you guys think about this tool? Would you like to try this in your workflow? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.